Hi, I'm Bill Black from Spirit River. We manufacture and sell these tying kits. These are individual tying kits to allow you to tie this fly. Today, I'm going to show you how to tie a black marabou muddler. It's a very, very popular streamer. It's a, a medium to difficult type of fly to tie, um, but it's also a really fun fly to tie. I encourage you to, to buy this packet at your local dealer and uh, tie it. If you watch this video, it will really help you. All these materials came right out of the kit. And what we're going to start with is, this, this is what the marabou mother basically looks like. <clears throat> we're going to start with a hook. So we've got right here, you put it in the vise. And we're going to do a base of thread. Clip off your excess. We're going to do a tail. The tail is a uh, hackle fiber and you want to try to get those fibers to be relatively even and you want these this tail to be the length of the gap of the hook. So I'll set that on there like that up between my fingers and back down and that's going to be the tail. Okay, I'm going to go back up here because what I want to do now is, is do the body. And this is the mylar that we're going to use for the body. Again, I trap that. And I'll take my thread and I'll bring it back. And the reason I do this is it helps me create a nice, even body. If I just tied this material in right here at the tail, you'd have a bump there and it's a bit unsightly. It probably doesn't make any difference to the fish, but if you're going to tie these, you might as well tie them really nice and pretty. So, As always, I wrap up and over the top, and I overlap the material just a touch, keep it nice and taut, the tension steady all the way down. You go about two-thirds of the way or three-quarters of the way down, go around three times, and that is your body. Save this for your next fly. Next we're going to do marabou. This is strung marabou. I'm going to look through this packet of feathers and find a really nice one, which I just did. Um, a lot of times instead of pulling it, I'll clip it. There's going to be the wing. And you can see how easily that moves. This just swims in the water. I want it to come to right about the um, rear of the hook there, the hook bend, up between my fingers and back down a couple times, nice and tight. I lift it and I clip it. Next, I take a little bit of peacock. Peacock comes strung in the hurl. Um, I try to match my tips up a little bit and you've got a few that are kind of curled funny. You can lift your fingers and you can kind of bring those all together and sort of train them. So I'm going to put that right up over the top. Again up between the fingers and down. And that's your topping to the wing. <clears throat> Next we're going to take this deer hair. I'm going to take and clip a chunk of your deer hair. We're going to create the collar. So what I do is I take all this under fur out. I'm going to want this about half the length of the body. I trim it, go around here twice, and pull it around. There you go. Then I pull it all back, bring my thread forward onto the shank of the hook again. I'll take another clump of hair, but this time I turn it in the opposite direction. Clip off all the tips. I lay that in there. I go around a few times and then see how I run my thread up into the hair? Shake my thread around a little bit. Again, I'll take my thumbnail, push that back. I 
and I whip finish this. And I'll go in here with a little drop of super glue that will hold that knot. Now that knot was done a little bit over the top of that uh, hair, but that's okay because you glued it. Well, then I just go around and I make this conical. So I go around like this. You don't want too much hair sticking underneath this because you want to leave lots of hook gape. So when a great big giant fish grabs this from you, you hook him. So this is the chance you get to become a sculptor. And actually this is the way a lot of deer hair bass bugs are made too. You start at the very tail and you put on different feathers for the tail. And then you spin a bunch of hair and trim it with a razor blade and your scissors. And you've got a floating bass bug. Add some eyes to it and heck it looks just like a frog. Anyway, this is a marabou muddler. A uh, very popular fly. Careful it doesn't bite you like it just did me. So you've got a red tail, you've got a silver body, you've got black marabou which will add to the swimming motion. There's a little bit of topping of peacock over the top which you can add or not add it depending if you want. I've got a deer hair collar and then a deer hair head. I'm going to trim that just a little bit more underneath here to make sure that I hook fish. And then I'll always go around the edge of it like that and just clean it up. And that is a black marabou muddler. You can do it with yellow or with white. Those are the most common marabous to use. You'd use the same body and the same deer hair. Again, this is Bill Black at Spirit River with the Learn to Tie series. Please look for our kits and all of our materials at your local dealer nationwide. We really, really appreciate your support. Thanks again. Enjoy.